Hey, good morning to you and happy Monday. I don't know about you, but man, I had a hard time getting up this morning with the time change. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but there's something really significant I want to share with you today, and it's how to pray. Uh, for many of us, that may sound really basic, but I was going through reading last night and something really jumped off the page at me. Like as I was reading, you know, you have that moment where something jumps off and it's really nothing that profound. It's just very simple actually. But I was reading First Peter and I want you to listen to this. In First Peter, it says, the end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled. Why? So that you can pray. So what's so fascinating, you know, we're really pressing into this 30 days of fasting and prayer for our nation at Enkindle, which we do together every single year. And I absolutely love it. It's a lot of fun in many ways, although my flesh can be very strong, I'll admit. But, um, you know, we're really pressing in together in, in this spirit where there is no dif distance for our nation and it's so fascinating to me because as I've really been praying and asking the Lord daily for that assignment that we've talked about to really focus in, uh, we really need to, to focus in on our assignment before us daily. And we've really been talking about that because there's so many different things that grab our attention, right? And so as I've been praying and asking the Lord for that assignment, one of the things that he keeps repeating to me and I feel so impressed daily is the most important thing you can do, Christy, is to pray. And so sometimes we look at prayer as in action. And um, I love what Bill Johnson says. He says something like, um, pray always, but don't risk prayer for inaction. And so we know you know, there's a balance there. But I love what Peter says here because there's so many things daily that buy for my attention, whether it be my phone, the Apple watch that I wear. Um, hey Marge, so good to see you on, my love. The one thing I have a hard time with. Me too, that's why I'm confessing it. You know, we talk about no frenzy November. We're really focusing in. And so like this morning I woke up and I'm like, you know, I like, you know, this is true confession. Like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like doing the prayer points today. I don't feel like going to the gym. I don't feel like recording a video. I don't feel it's Monday morning. Like it's, it's cold and it's dark and I don't feel like doing all those things. But I'm like, you know what, soul, you're not in control today. Like feelings, you're not in control today. The spirit's in control, right? And so sometimes you just have to really say no, which is the theme of our whole fast, just say no. And sometimes you have to say no to the things of your soul because your soul's very loud and it screams, kind of like a two-year-old, right? It just screams and screams for its way and you have to say, no, soul, you don't get your way today. Um, I shouldn't say sometimes, I should say every day, I think. <laughs> But I want to share these Greek words real quick. Therefore, be clear-minded. That clear-minded is this awesome Greek word called sophronio, and it means to be of sound mind. Sophronio means to be of sound mind. So be clear-minded. What's clear-minded mean? I'm talking to myself here. Well, not having my face in the phone all the time, not being distracted by all of this stuff that goes on, being clear-minded. And then second is self-controlled. And that self-controlled is nepho, which means to be sober, calm, and collected in the spirit. Isn't that awesome? To be calm and collected in the spirit. So, therefore, be clear-minded, Sophronio, to be of sound mind, and also nepho, to be sober and calm and collected in the spirit. Are you calm and collected in the spirit on this Monday morning? What's so fascinating is that Peter says all of these things. Why? Be clear-minded and also uh, be self-controlled. Why? So that you can pray. And that pray is prosuke, which really means this constant and continual conversation with God. I'm convinced in this hour the most important thing that you can do is pray. Why? Because nothing can shift in the physical before it shifted in the spirit first. And prayer has started every revival in history. Prayer has won wars throughout history. And we can name lots of intercessors um, that have done that. 
But I want to mention, Peter repeats this in the next chapter, so I think it's really important. He says, be self-controlled and alert. Why your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to, to, to devour. And so it's one of the greatest challenges, I believe, of our generation is because like you walk through an airport or a restaurant, you know, at restaurant, we're looking at TVs and you walk through an airport and everybody's looking at their phone. We're all so distracted. And again, I'm talking to myself here, like more than I'm talking to you. I'm talking to myself to go like, get off your phone, like be clear minded, be vigilant, uh, be sober, be calm and collected in the spirit and soul. Guess what? You don't get your way today. Like, I don't feel, it doesn't matter if you feel like going to the gym. It doesn't matter if you feel like doing a video. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, soul. You don't get your way because I'm calm and collected in the spirit. So just say no. Sometimes we have to just say no to our soul, right? And so I challenge you with that today. Let's pray as we start our week. And so, Father, I thank you, God, for every listener, God. I cover them under the blood, and I specifically cover ears under the blood. That's what I see, like, our hearing. Protect our ear gates and our eye gates because that is how we're going to stay sober-minded and self-controlled uh, is by what we allow in our eye gates and what we allow in our ear gates. Be careful, little mind, what eyes what you see. You know, I love that, that song we sing when we're little. And so, God, I ask for every listener to be self-controlled. God, that's a fruit of the Spirit, self-controlled. So, Holy Spirit, breathe your pneuma life over every listener right now, God, for self-control, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, as you breathe fresh wind and fresh fire on our Monday morning. We say no to our soul and yes to our spirit. We're vigilant and we're self-controlled this week. I love you guys, cheering you on so, so loud as always. I believe in you and keep persevering in the, in the spirit. We'll see you soon.